Okay. This is a male two year old rabbit came in with the complaint of a malocclusion, but uh, the teeth had been extracted. And uh, we just showed the teeth. Then open the mouth. There's some bleeding there. This is about 12 hours ago. See, the teeth has been extracted. And uh, the rabbit is having a fever. And she's not eating, right? And no stools will pass. So we are giving her a drip and uh, antibiotics and painkillers. But it looks quite alive or not quite effective. Okay, so we put it back first. Now we put back the rabbit. So we are, I start with the the dentistry. Okay, how the teeth are extracted, huh? Okay, basically the teeth are here. Are here. Okay, so we, I just focus on the. Now the rabbit had actually five teeth because the, the other pack tooth had been extracted last time together with the upper left incisor but what happened was it grew back again so as you can see which one is the top this is the top this one is the top bottom huh? okay so the bottom was very long as you can see there are, there are actually six teeth in the rabbit but the top one was the it, earlier on, about last year, it came with a deviation, but the other teeth were okay. So this was extracted together the pack teeth, huh? the left upper, but the the two regrew again. So so now the owner wanted the teeth to be extracted again, and uh, I will show the show the. The picture first, eh? Okay, we will go at the, at the rabbit yesterday, day one. How he came in was like this, okay? Now, so you can see, uh, these are the lower front teeth, eh? deviated, not so obvious, but this is how this presented. Yes. The rabbit has difficulty eating. It's a two year old male, then you see the teeth, okay? Now we can see that these are the lower teeth, really deviated because the lower jaw is longer than the upper jaw. This is a case of malocclusion. Now, last year it came in, this tooth, the left upper was deviated. So I extracted it and uh, of course there's a possibility of regrowth, re re which it did, it did regrow. So I extracted this one and the pack tooth, but I left the other normal ones alone. Now in retrospect, in retrospect, I should have just probably just uh, trimmed this and hope, hoping that it will it will probably uh, align. But but there's no hope because the lower jaw is definitely longer than the upper jaw. Maybe I should have extracted all four, all six teeth at the same time. That was last year. Okay. So but anyway. So yesterday, this is the situation. Huh? The teeth are overgrown, and uh, this one, as you can see, is curved inwards. More difficult to extract. This one is frontage. It's okay. These are the normal positioning. Okay, so this is the one. Now the instruments uh, for extraction of the rabbit teeth are quite specialized. It's not just the dog. You can't use a dog one. Now you can see they are quite. Uh, narrow and then uh, you can see they are quite uh, especially made for the rabbit tooth extraction now I will, I will talk about what they are okay now from the left this is the molar extractor forceps molar extraction forceps this is an incisor luxation means loosen the ligament then the third one is the molar this is a molar extractor as you can see the molar teeth are deep in uh, so you still got to loosen the, the, the ligaments huh, before you can extract the molar teeth. But today what I'm talking about is the front teeth, the incisor. And the last one, huh, the last one is quite interesting. This actually is a very good one. It's an incisor lacator. 
this time really goes in. Now you must know how to use it because, it, as you can see, they are more for the follow the curve of the tooth. Huh? So if you know how to use it, one will be on the upper and one will be the lower tooth. Okay, now the teeth extracted in this rabbit, these are the rabbit teeth. Now you can see the lower one is quite long and uh, this one was uh, fractured during extraction but then we managed to get the root out. Now you can see the root huh? actually is about 1.5 cm long. You know? Anything lesser than that, the, the teeth will regrow again. Now this upper one, upper one you can see, we managed to hopefully to extract to the base of the root, otherwise it will regrow in. Now this is the pack tooth. The pack tooth is the the small teeth behind the front, the two front teeth. Huh? So the other pack teeth had been removed by me early on when there was a deviation of this upper left uh, incisor one one year ago, around one year ago. But the owner didn't come back, although it regrew again. And so we have this situation of uh, as you can see, this is the one we grow, and the others definitely overgrow. I don't know whether the owner did clipping or not. Maybe the owner did go for for uh, clipping by some somebody because obviously it's not too long. But after a while, I think she stopped clipping uh, because it needs about two months really to do it. Uh. Just if, if somebody has to do it, you clip here, use a use a. Sometimes they use a burr, some vets they use a burr. Burr is the one with the big circular, it's called a burr. And it just supposed to be better than using the, the cutter. So there are two methods, one is the burr, that is two monthly, or you extract the whole tooth. So today we are doing, talking about this extraction of the whole tooth. Now I will go to the next slide. Okay, now this is the, we use the laxator, the laxator first. And then we use this uh, molar extraction force to slowly loose, twist and turn and pull it out. And this is the method. Now this is the upper one, uh, this is the laxator. Goes in, goes around. This is very thin and narrow, it's suitable for rabies. So loosen the ligaments and then the molar extractor will, will extract. Now this is the deviated left uh, upper proof. It's very, very uh, difficult to loosen the ligaments at the uh, back area. So you use this uh, laxator to go in, go in, 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 and then loosen it. Uh. So that's how, how we do it. takes a long time. And then of course you need to guess. Because some of the rabbit breaks are we use anesthetic uh, gelatin plus gelatin plus what? Ketamine, uh, I am. Uh, there's a formula. We just use eighty percent of it. Now you can see this is the molar extraction process. Slowly, once it's loosened, the ligaments loosen. Slowly pull it out. Okay, so this this is day one. Uh, day one. Now I'm talking about day two. Day two is today. Just now you saw the rabbit. Day two, you can see the teeth has been no more. There's no more teeth. Uh. So we we show you just now in the video at the beginning. The, the front teeth are extracted, one pack teeth and two front teeth, and the lower one, two long ones extracted, and uh, the, this is the result, you can see that one of them actually fractured a bit, so but we managed to, to uh, lux it further down the, the membrane, uh, so that we can pull out the whole thing, and you can see it's very, the roots are very long, I would say it's about 1.5 cm from here to here, okay. For the lower teeth, for the upper teeth, it's probably 1.3 centimeter. And uh, in conclusion, you can see you need specialized dental equipment for rabbits to do a good job. If not, then it's very difficult to do because of the of the narrow narrowness of the teeth. This is only for the front teeth. Of course, if there's molar teeth, then you need to use the molar forceps. Molar laxator forcep, which is this one. Eh? You can see it, it tilts to the side. One is for the left and one is for the right. This is specially made for the molars to laxate the, the membrane. 
and uh, these two are these two are the incisors. One, this is the same incisor. Of course, you can use either one or any one. But this one is for the to extract mono extraction because it curves inwards, so that you don't. This way, you need this specialized equipment. Otherwise, you don't have for the dogs. You don't do you do not have this. So now we just look at the anesthetic machine. This is what we use. I just showed the anesthetic machine. Now basically, basically I would use the five percent, five percent isofluorine after sedation with xylazine plus ketamine. I am about five minutes intubate, and then uh, normally the flow, uh, the flow should be a bit higher. I would put at three liters per minute oxygen, uh, and the circuit should be probably open, open, and then the mask. The mask is here, then we can, uh, we can give the mask, which is saw in the in the photo, then the mask is here. On top of just show the mask and now then okay, we just put it in. When the rabbit wakes up, wakes up a bit, we, we, we go and put the, give some gas. You don't need to give until it's fully down because it's already been sedated. So so this in conclusion, in conclusion, just look at this picture. Picture, yeah. Come here, there. You see this picture. This is the one you have to use. Huh? There's no, uh, it's practically not possible to extract the, the front teeth, huh? and uh, it's not possible to extract the front teeth if you don't use the proper equipment. You can use a dog one, but but you will not be able to dig deep. You may not be able to dig deep in. Huh? You can use a human one, the children's laxator, but. It, it, don't, it doesn't have to curl. So the best is invest in this set. It comes in a, in a set and uh, I will just show the set. It's, not, it's, a, it's a big set. I'll just show, show the inside. You can see this is not a... You have all the... This is not the complete set actually. The other one. Yeah, the other one. Then my anyway, at the moment we are only looking for the only worse. Then my this one. Then roughly I just show that you, you have to buy a, a specialized set for, for rabbits. You cannot just uh, use the top one. You can see that some of these I have not used yet. This one I don't use yet. And uh, you can see some are for the cheek. To open up the cheek while you do the molar. And uh, this is really highly specialized for rabbits. I mean, if you want to use dog, definitely it's not suitable. And there's a name of it. Huh? It's called IM3. Huh? We are using IM3. And you can see it really, it comes with 10 pieces. Actually, there are more. More than that. Okay, thanks. I finished already.